Hi Virgo, welcome in. Virgo, be sure to only take the messages that resonate and how they resonate for your situation. Energies can be reversed. In this reading, I'm going to take a look at your next seven days. I will start by pulling some general messages for you, and then I'll take a look at your love life. If this reading resonates, or if you would just like to support the channel, don't forget to hit that like button and feel free to leave a comment down below. Messages for Virgo. You have star. It says guaranteed success. Guaranteed success. So you're showing up as a star the next seven days. We have cat. It says a two-faced friend. We have candle. You will be shown the way. Claw. Be careful. Do not take risks. So this two-faced friend energy and be careful energy, I feel like it doesn't necessarily have to be somebody close to you. I don't, I, I don't, I'm not picking up on an energy of an actual like bestie. This more so feels like there's somebody in your environment that is very two-faced and I feel like you're highly aware of who it is, Virgo. Because we have this candle energy here. You will be shown the way. Tell me more about this two-faced individual. We have Ram, a stubborn, aggressive person. And then we have Dog Far Away, a distant friend is thinking about you. This is somebody that you may have once vibed with. I feel like there's somebody uh, in your energy, Virgo, that you once vibed with. You might have shared some laughs with this person. You may have trusted this person before. Uh, some of you guys may have even looked up to this person before. And I feel like there is some type of uh, realization that they are two-faced. And I'm really picking up on an energy that you guys have already discovered this. Okay, I don't feel like this is new information. And this this individual is thinking about you for some reason, Virgo. You're, you're heavily on their mind, okay? Uh, tell me more about the star energy for Virgo. We have the sun happiness and well-being. So the next seven days is going to be an excellent time to focus on your well-being, okay? Your physical health, your mental health, your emotional health, even your spiritual health, Virgo. So just make sure you're highlighting those things in your uh, life in the next seven days. But happiness and well-being, this is also an indicator that you get to choose happiness. So if like something tries to ruffle your feathers or if something comes in and tries to ruin your day, you can choose not to let that happen. It's incredibly difficult, but the more you exercise this choice of yours, the more you choose happiness, even when bad things are happening or even when people are causing frustrations in our life, the more you exercise that energy of yours, that power of yours to still choose to be happy, the stronger you're going to get and the easier it's going to get further down the road. Then you have Rooster. It says, an arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. So most definitely energies around you that are going to be purposely trying to frustrate you. And if you're wanting to avoid this energy, okay, I feel like it's important to just kind of like stay in your lane. Um, kind of like just avoid this person at all costs, okay? Because it's very interesting, this rooster energy, you know how roosters are loud, okay? And I love all animals, but you know, y'all know roosters can be loud and very annoying. And so I feel like whoever this boastful, arrogant individual is, they're gonna be very loud. They're gonna be very annoying. I feel like this person is very insecure with themselves, okay? Very aggressive. And it's kind of like, this person likes to just go off about anything and everything. And I feel like they may, they may have their eyes on you this week. So I would just steer clear of that energy. 
And then even if this happens, you get to choose happiness. You have I. It says psychic ability, trust your intuition. You could also become vulnerable for psychic attacks the next seven days. And that's not to scare you. That's just to let you know, to be aware that if you're thinking like extremely negative thoughts, if you're feeling like giving up on your passions, your dreams, things like that, just remind yourself that's not truly what you think. That's not you telling you those things. Okay. That could be a psychic attack. So one way to protect yourself, you know, every night, say a prayer of protection, visualize a bright white light, uh, you know, covering your entire body, okay, protecting you. You can say a prayer of protection, okay. Definitely make sure you're taking care of yourself and make sure that you acknowledge if that's what hap is happening, you have to acknowledge it, okay. But your, your intuition is very strong the next seven days. You have seahorse. It says family matters. Uh, there could be some things popping out with your family. Some of you guys might get an announcement with your family, possibly like a pregnancy announcement or something along those lines. It doesn't have to be a pregnancy announcement. We have caterpillar. It says things will not always be this way. Change is coming. Feeling tied down or frustrated. So you're not always going to feel tied down. You're not always going to be frustrated. Remind yourself of that. It's kind of like the energy of like, might be a bad hour or it might be a bad day, but it's not a bad life. You're not always going to be in the position you're in right now. And then we have shield. You need to defend yourself. So just make sure you're protected. Make sure you're saying those affirmations. Make sure immediately when you're waking up in the morning, you're absorbing the right kind of information as well. Okay, like affirmations. Make sure when you're falling asleep at night, uh, be very aware of what you're doing like 10, 20 minutes before you fall asleep, things like that. So you are needing to shield yourself this week, Virgo. Let's get you a angel number. Okay, you have three. We're going to take them. So you have angel number 20. The affirmation is I am harmonious. So this tells me that whenever this rooster or this arrogant person, you know, tries to mess with you, Virgo, definitely apply diplomacy to the situation. Uh, if you have a harmonious approach to people who want to cause drama or start a fight with you, you pretty much shut it down immediately. So just be aware of, you know, your emotions and try to control your emotions so you don't re emotionally react to situations. So it says 20, you relate to others on an almost cosmic level. You are dedicated to building harmonious relationships, all kinds you have the ability to persuade others to your point of view by using gentle means. So, you know, that's definitely like kill with kindness type energy. You'll kill the situation with kindness, okay? Versus adding fuel to the fire and acting, uh, you know, acting out. Then you have 30. The affirmation is I am imaginative. It says you are an original, innovative thinker and an excellent communicator. You have a great talent for using creativity to convey your ideas and your optimistic attitude has an uplifting effort on others. Sorry, an uplifting effect on others. So that just tells me again, just, you know, Uplift the situation, Virgo. Use your imagination. I also feel like you guys could be trying to create something here, okay? Um, most definitely. You could be trying to create something for yourself or work on something for yourself. And 
you know, there are dark forces, negative energies in this world that when you are on the right track, when you're on the right path in life, they want to come in and try to get you off of it. So you have to remind yourself, Virgo, that that's exactly what this arrogant and boastful person is trying to do. And unfortunately, there might be a dark energy that has taken over this person and they might not even realize it. So we also have angel number 25. The affirmation is, I am intelligent. It says, you have a great ability to take in and process information on both conscious and subconscious levels. Your curiosity is endless and your desire to dive deep into a variety of subjects will bring you immense awareness of the world. So keep learning, keep growing. If you feel like giving up on your dreams or your passions, just take a break. Don't give up. Big message there on to not give up on things that you love, Virgo. We're going to take a look at your love life. Let's see. What's going on with Virgo when it comes to love? When it comes to love. It says stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. The bottom of the deck, you have attraction. It says you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. So this is about being in a playful energy the next seven days, Virgo. About remaining positive about your love life. Enjoying yourself, okay? Being authentic. And just loving who you are loudly is really what I'm getting. Like, just living in your authenticity. And I feel like that's an energy you guys are stepping into. We have this Ace of Swords. Three of Pentacles. So I see a conversation between you and somebody here. It feels like this person is definitely trying to show off some type of skill here. Okay, they could be talking a lot about something they're passionate about or talking a lot about their goals here. Even what whatever it is they do for work. I just feel like somebody here is wanting to impress you the next seven days. Now, Third Pentacles can talk about being online. Could be somebody that you know online that is just creating statuses or sharing things that they're trying to get your attention, Virgo. We have this hanged man. It's Pisces energy. The emperor, Aries energy. So again, it just, it feels to me like there's somebody around you that is wanting you to see them in a good light. I feel like this individual wants you to pay attention to them, okay? Page of Wands. This is a message coming in. That's a DM, okay? Somebody here wants to talk to you the next seven days. Yeah, Page of Swords. They've been spying on you, checking in on you, because this is definitely somebody that has been extremely curious about who you are and what you're up to. And so I feel like this person is watching you online. Now, for those of you that don't have any social media, this could just indicate if you have some sort of history with somebody here and they have photos of you or screenshots or even messages, this is definitely them going back and reviewing this, looking at this, because it makes them feel good, you know, going over this. 
Page of Wands. This is somebody, definitely this is someone that has like a good sense of humor. They could be a little sarcastic, okay? It's definitely somebody that likes to show up as the Emperor, but the Page of Wands, you know, sometimes they like to be a little playful. Bottom of the deck, we have this Eight of Cups. So the next seven days, there's going to come a point, Virgo, where you're going to have a lot to think about. I feel like you guys are going to be thinking very deeply about this connection because it feels to me like there's somebody coming towards you wanting to speak with you. However, I, it seems to me like you may be closing yourself off to this person or you may have already shut this person out of your life, but they're not going to take no for an answer with the Six of Wands. Now, Two of, two of Swords can definitely be stalemate energy. Okay, but I'm picking up on you kind of just closing off to somebody and they want your attention because they don't want you to be closed off. They're attracted to you. I feel like a lot of you guys may have saw something in somebody that was a red flag for some of you. And that's why you closed yourself off. Okay, could even be a, an in, like something you could have seen an immature side of somebody, Virgo, and you might. It's it's kind of like a cringe energy, like you saw some sort of childish behavior, and it kind of pop, like I'm getting like you cringing at something here. But spirit says, stay optimistic about your love life. The sun. Yeah, you've seen a red flag in this person. That's who it is. I feel like you saw something that you didn't like. And I'm getting it with some type of behavior. That was my cats, if you heard that. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking it was some type of behavior or... Something they said is what I'm picking up on, Virgo. Or this is to come. And you know, you have choices. Okay, two of swords. You have choices. You're aware that you have choices here. Okay, and you know, spirit says if you've seen a red flag here and that's a deal breaker, then that's a deal breaker, right? You don't have to stick around and put up with deceptive energies. You don't have to stick around and put up with immature energies. Because the stay optimistic about your love life is talking about have faith that love is coming. And you don't have to settle. You don't have to shrink yourself to be in a relationship with someone. Tell me more about this Two of Swords. The Hierophant. I feel like a lot of you Virgos might be looking for a, a traditional kind of relationship or kind of just like a traditional dynamic, right? A good balance between masculine and feminine. And I feel like you guys are looking for somebody to be authentic as as well. Because you're in this authentic... Authent auth <laughs> You're in this authentic energy and it has really drawn somebody towards you here. However, to me, there might be a little bit of, um, like showing off a little too much. Like this is definitely energy of like somebody really trying to show off, really being immature and I, I just, I, I'm getting, I, I feel like you don't like that. Now, this could be going on in your subconscious and your uh, actual conscious mind might be blocking that information out from you. So this is very important to ask yourself, like, is, is the person you're connecting with, is this really somebody you can see yourself with or like married to? Is this really somebody you could see yourself with five years from now, building a life with this person, this boastful, immature individual. Now, if you can see past all that, 
okay. But I feel like the Virgo that I'm talking to, the Virgo that this is resonating with, Spirit wants you to stay optimistic about your love life. And you don't have to settle, is what I'm getting from this message. So definitely, you know what you want here. This Hierophant, you want commitment. Some of you guys, this is even traditional type love, a traditional relationship. And don't settle until you get it. And when you see red flags in people, don't overlook them. Because you will put yourself in a bad situation. It's kind of like walk away now or stick it out and then realize down the road that you should have left the situation a little sooner. You have manifesting miracles. It says your dream is soon to become reality. Trust your heart and continue to follow its guidance. So don't settle, Virgo. Don't settle for half ass. Don't settle for... I mean, don't just... <laughs> don't always have to be the bigger person. I just feel like that's what this is. Like, you may be tempted in the future to give somebody the benefit of the doubt that really doesn't deserve it. Bottom of the deck, you have secret admirer. It says someone has deeper feelings for you than they are letting on. So, I mean, this person likes you. This person wants you. But you have seen something inside of them, Virgo, that's not sitting right with you. All right, Virgo, those are your messages. Bye.